day here in Ponce Inlet. Come on in and check out our new supplies. Today I've got a couple things I want to go over. We just got our first small order of fishing stuff in. So we've started a little rack right here with the things that I use for salt water and fresh water. So there's a lot of controversy with surfboards whether poly or epoxy is better. This is an epoxy board made by Firewire. The thing I like about epoxy is here in Florida the waves are kind of sometimes steep and then slopey and then weak in different spots so you gotta almost have this extra float to get you through those flat sections which I really like about epoxy they feel like they flow constantly like you never really get stuck on the wave anywhere but the downside of epoxy is also that it's almost a totally different feeling of surfing from poly when you're riding this board pushing it into the water floats on top of the water more than a poly which really kind of throws more water and has more weight to the turn whereas when you're riding epoxy you almost feel like you're just getting up to that section and flipping it and not really throwing too much water or waves this one was a 5.9 19 and a quarter 27 liters this is my new board that I'm riding now. In the last year, I've switched over to riding poly boards. And I'm representing Shea Lopez surfboards because we are selling them here in the shop. And this is a really special board to me because it was actually a board that Shea made for himself and rode and ended up thinking that it was too small for him. So he put me on it, uh, gave me a good deal on it. and. I can definitely say I've had two of the best waves of my life on this board the other night. So since I've switched back to poly, I've realized that it really helps you get in the spot where you want to be and do the best maneuvers possible. I had a, a wave a couple days ago. The way this board just handled on the face of that wave in the most critical part so quickly and completed the turn was just blew my mind and I still I'm still like so pumped and can't wait to surf on it again so this is a really good board and I'm really happy to uh, be selling these boards in my shop because he's a legend this man right here is one of the best surfers in the world if he never had his knee injury he'd still be right next to Kelly Slater competing for world title so anyways, I put the uh, medium fins inside here, FCS. I was riding large fins up until last year and kind of realized small fins, smaller fins are a lot more fun, easier to throw out. Plus I'm only about 160, about 160, 160 pounds. So really I should be riding medium fins anyway. So yeah, this is a 5.9 pintail. And it's pretty much perfect for me. I just, next time I would do a little less volume. I like to float around my nipple line right here, on the water line. Right now this board floats me right about here. So it's a little more foam than I would like, but it's a sick board. So you can come in and get these at our shop, custom from Shea. We sell them for 600 all day. You want to get one, come in and get one. You can personally meet Shea and talk to him about your shape. See you in the water. Woo. Appreciate the support, the follows, the comments, the likes. It's all positive. Thank you so much. This is my dream to be a videographer, oceanographer. Let's see where this goes. So we got a new white shirt in now. And I changed the logo color a little bit to a darker green. Which kind of uh, shows people, you know, that it's the East Coast of Florida. And the new logo is going to have a picture of me inside the barrel coming out. As you can see, the new logo has me in the barrel. It was actually a right-hand wave that I caught at Ponce during Hurricane Florence. But you can see the original wave right there breaking. As I was adding it in, this little green uh, light appeared here. It was just erasing layers and just kind of just trying to get it to where I wanted it. 
And I thought that was really cool that the green light showed up there because green is the color of the heart chakra, which is the energy that your heart puts off to the world. And that's just what I'm trying to show that I have love for nature. And this is our new logo. So that'll be on the new shirts coming out soon, which some of the new shirts have. I'll show you this, the new designs. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool design. It'll be on the front of the shirt and the back, I believe. Or maybe just the back and then the logo on the front. But I like it because it's got kind of everything that mixed into one shirt. It's got the lionfish from the jetty early June. It's got the original shark, great white shark. And then it's got my dog inside of the full moon. And then we've got this here. And I really like the lettering because, as you can see, each letter is an animal of some sort. And then this is a different lettering style, it's called Critter. It's got different types of animals. Pretty cool. Seahorse, rabbits, otters, snake. Yeah. So, come on in and support local artists little mini art gallery of some of my favorite paintings. Uh, there's some paintings of mine around town. If you go to Jimmy Hula's in Port Orange on Dunlawton Avenue, uh, next to, if you look up when you walk into the order form area, there's a huge picture of Corey Lopez, which we have pictures of him in here also. And next to his picture in Jimmy Hula's, is one of my original wave paintings, a blue and green wave, which is an Australian wave. We got a little photo sequence of Corey. That was during Hurricane Florence. And we also do sell, we sell back to blue, just so you guys know. Speaking about Shay earlier, here's a picture of him right here in a barrel with his knee brace. And then this is their fishing charter service, which we promote and sell the t-shirts and hats in our shop. Back to blue. It's a great company, great quality hats and t-shirts. So this is some random pictures that my friend Robert a professional photographer locally here took pictures and put them up in here for us. I don't know if you guys can see it with the glare, but I'm trying to X out the glare as much as possible. These are all local pictures of Ponce surfers. There's another sequence of Corey. That concludes our episode today. Thanks again for watching. Stop in and grab a leash or track top, surfboard, skateboard, Virtua sunscreen, surf wax, I see sunglasses. Woo. Rent a bike. We've got all these bikes for rent. This is the Christmas present of the year right here. Who's going to come in and buy this for their kid this year? It's $1,300. It's $50 cheaper than what you would get it online for. And this is the best present anybody could ever give their kid. The E-Glide power board, brand new, ready to roll. We've had these two here for two years. My son and I have been riding them like really hard. No damage at all, no rust, even riding it on the beach. These things are holding up really well. Great vehicle. I recommend it for anybody that's wanting to get back in shape, to get that snowboard feel, or just keep their back in motion in between surfing. An hour on this board every day will keep you in shape for sure. So come on in and check it out. We'll see you soon. Peace. I did this painting with a knife and I left it clear 
If you see any white spots in this painting, throughout the whole painting, that's all clear canvas. So I'm planning on lighting this up from behind with a box like this so that it can be lit with the LEDs and shine through. I've got this really cool kit right here that I'm planning on using behind it. And you can individually glow any color you want on 175 lights. I'm gonna strategically wire these lights in here where I want them and then light them up the colors that I want them. This is a guitar from Catastro, signed and a hat sign by Catastro. Sick issue of Surfer Magazine, had to put that in there. I guess I'll go give you guys a surf report real quick. Take this. Check the waves. High tide. It's starting to look better already. It's still pretty high tide. But as the tide starts to go out, Ponce is going to get really good. It's got a little southeast swell and wind. Yeah. The situation in the world is crazy. Well, thanks again, guys, for watching another episode. Please click like and subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Day by day.